For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. workers under the health department who is delivering the basic services to the mother people are under around uh, 10 lakh uh, workers are there and uh, they uh, go door to door delivering the services to the poor and marginalized sections of the society and you see that uh, this uh, during the pandemic the first wave itself that this their importance of their work that has been coming to the limelight and their poor working conditions as well. So they are given only a pittance of 2,000 rupees per month as a basic allowance throughout the country. And in some states, they were through their struggles, they are getting a little bit more from the state governments. And in during this pandemic, they were exposed to the when the, the diseased and they were asked to do the duties in the hospitals, taking the patients and all. And then the government announced an additional uh, rupees thousand per month only, and that also for six months. And now it's more than a year. And then the second wave is also there. Even in the second wave, which, which is more dangerous and people, the death rate is also much more there. And they are uh, in, in under risk. They are doing. They go 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 door to door, uh, conducting surveys and then checking their temperature and taking their oxygen daily. These kinds of and even for the RT PCR, the tests, COVID tests also. If somebody is having fever, they were taken uh, to the hospitals. So they are exposed to the patients directly. But the government is not at all providing them any kind of safety equipments including no sanitizers and no face masks even so this is and particularly in the second phase first phase some announcements were there and in the second phase nothing is given and hundreds of asha workers are dying means due to covid and you see that the government in the first phase itself they announced an insurance package means it is a life insurance thing of 50 lakh rupees that also, it means especially in the first wave, at least minimum two, three hundred ASHA workers have died across the country. But a very few, I means maybe less than ten people got the insurance coverage, their families. And in the second wave, which is without any means, the symptoms is very rarely seen. So they are exposed, and they means they are dying, and then they are not even termed as COVID deaths. So they, uh, there is no post-mortem and they, they are not given any certificate in the second rate, even in Haryana recently, you know, around um, uh, eight cases were there in the last month itself of death, none is given, given because they are telling that there should be, because the COVID fund protocol is there, they are, uh, you know, their bodies are not even handed over to the families and they are cremated, but the government is now asking for a post-mortem report for having the compensation. This is the situation. So there the foremost thing is that they are doing their duty fantastically and they are appreciated. They are the link from of the government to the people. So their work is so important and this is their working condition. So during this period, we have been continuously approaching the government for risk allowance and additional because the other all the other uh, health services are almost in a stand still it is not being done so their additional income they were supposed to get was through other immunization other programs like that that is also totally their income has been stopped and the services are also not delivered to the people so here we are demanding that additional means the compensatory allowances the basic demands of minimum wages and social security including pension is also already there but at least during the pandemic at least some risk allowance that government should announce that the government is not ready and the safety gear without the safety gear how can you expose people to the corona patients so that is also other demand so we, these are the demands which we are pushing forward 
safety and the risk relevance and the income support and in the families because of due to the lack of um, employment or the loss of employment and income there is a rampant poverty so the income support and the food support that also for all the workers we are demanding so these have we been continuously raised and on 24th you know that 24th of may we had a, had a one day token all india general strike of the asha workers so but the governments are not hearing and in madhya pradesh one of the places where so many cases are there so much of deaths or so has and maharashtra is also one of the places where so much uh, many uh, covid deaths are and the, um, the pandemic rate is also very high so there they are uh, they are raising they were continuously raising that they have started in maharashtra they asked from the state government also an additional allowance because they are exposed to so many other surveys and uh, uh, duties also so additional allowance from the state government and the risk allowance also and in maharashtra the government has announced that the rt pcr test will be done by the ashas so without i mean that also the union was opposing and then ultimately they they were compelled to take it back that decision Uh, of uh, asha, making asha workers doing the rt pcr tests so that was taken back but the other demands are there and they are continuously on the struggle and the government has one uh, round of uh, discussion but they are also adamant whether the state, central government or the state in madhya pradesh also this is a bjp government they are also very adamant they and in madhya pradesh even the announced the remuneration or that in, increase the remuneration which the central government announced that also is not reaching the workers so for uh, i mean and the wages are pending for so many months that also is there so there also the same kind of demands first and foremost is the safety and the safety equipments and now the and then the risk allowance and the additional remuneration at least for the covid period so this is these are the circumstances and also in haryana the uh, asha workers they have been continuously last 2 uh, 3 uh, years continuous struggles there the government announced something in 2018 but they are yet to implement that so uh, the uh, increased remuneration and the other allowances now what they have brought is that they are bringing a, a new mobile application to have a surveillance over the asha workers because there is a militant union and they are exposing the entire health system also they are going public so to curtail that they are introducing another uh, mobile application they are also the they are boycotting this mobile app they refuse to um, uh, come under the surveillance in, along with the other demands so this is the situation of a total situation of surveillance and total endangering their lives also so they we are compelled to go on struggles and to move tomorrow we are going to have a meeting of the old central trade unions and the front line workers the scheme workers especially anganwadi and asha workers who are on covid duty so there we will be planning for further fight and agitations as well actually the both this stri strike started with the uh, old india call on 24th and the different forms of agitations were there and from uh, 13th and 14th the madhya pradesh str struggle started and uh, from monday onwards it is a total uh, stri means a strike they are holding demonstration giving the memorandum and uh, surprisingly the health officials in many of the districts are supporting the struggle so because it is a genuine demand and they also are exposed the entire health system and the, the workers in the, the health sector workers are all exposed to such kind of risks so in that way they they are getting public support also so they are holding the demonstrations and giving that because they, they have to have the covid protocol also and they uh, but uh, anyway they are at uh, their lives are at risk so they are holding the demonstration giving the memorandum and now they are planning to how go for a state level a symbolic not a very big mass level mobilization symbolic agitations one is at district headquarters Uh, and then uh, at the state uh, health department headquarters also similarly in maharashtra also we, they are uh, having holding demonstrations at chc phc levels giving memoranda and uh, means going to the and both these places wherever there is an independent strike they are going to the public also explaining to them what is the demand 
and one of the major demands of all these struggles are the increased budget allocation for the health public health system improving the facilities in the government system and also for the basic ration and income support so this is what how the struggles are developing Thank you.